In this video, we will discuss the anatomy of the retina, exploring its complex structure and understanding its crucial role in processing visual information. Starting with an introduction to its fundamental aspects, we will delve into the macroscopic anatomy and histology of the retina. Following this, we'll examine the retinal topography to understand its intricate layout. Then, before we summarize our findings, we will explore the vital aspect of the retina's blood supply, shedding light on its significance in maintaining retinal health and function. The retina is a thin, transparent membrane that lines the innermost part of the eyeball. As a neurosensory tissue, it excels in capturing light rays and transmitting visual information to the central nervous system. The retina originates from the neuroectoderm and is primarily composed of neuronal cells. It is distinguished by its highly specialized cells, known as photoreceptors, which are crucial for converting light into neural signals. These photoreceptors, comprising rods and cones, are responsible for enabling vision under various light conditions and for color perception. As the most highly developed tissue in the eye, the retina plays an indispensable role in our visual system, allowing us to perceive the intricate details and colors of the world around us. Beginning with an exploration of the macroscopic anatomy of the retina, this crucial structure forms the innermost layer of the eyeball, extending from the optic disc to the aura serrata. Anteriorly, it seamlessly connects with the ciliary body and the iris epithelium. In this anterior region, the retina's structure is rudimentary, having lost its photoreceptor functionality. This thin, transparent membrane is distinguished by its purplish-red hue a reflection of its high vascularization which is essential for its metabolic needs. The outer surface of the retina is intricately attached to the choroid, facilitating the supply of nutrients and oxygen. On the inner side, the retina interfaces with the vitreous body through the hyaloid membrane, a critical component in maintaining the eye's structural integrity and optical properties. This strategic positioning between the choroid and the vitreous body allows the retina to effectively capture and process visual information, making it a cornerstone of the human visual system. The study of the retina's histology involves examining its complex, layered structure where each layer has a distinct function in visual perception. The retina consists of ten distinct layers, each contributing uniquely to its overall function. These layers are arranged sequentially, starting from the outermost part adjacent to the choroid and extending inward towards the vitreous body, R1, the retinal pigment epithelium, RPE a layer critical for nourishing the retinal cells. 2, layer of rods and cones, photoreceptor layer containing the cells responsible for light detection. 3, the external limiting membrane, ELM a barrier separating the photoreceptors from the other neuronal cells. 4, outer nuclear layer, housing the cell bodies of the rods and cones. 5. Outer plexiform layer, where synapses between photoreceptors and bipolar cells occur. 6. Inner nuclear layer, containing the cell bodies of bipolar, horizontal, and amacrine cells. 7. Inner plexiform layer, where bipolar cells synapse with ganglion cells. 8. Ganglion cell layer, consisting of the cell bodies of ganglion cells. 9. Optic nerve fiber layer, composed of axons from the ganglion cells forming the optic nerve. 10. And the internal limiting membrane, ILM the boundary layer adjacent to the vitreous humor. Retinal topography refers to the specialized structural arrangement and distribution of different regions within the retina, each playing a unique role in visual perception. The retina is divided into two main areas, the central retina and the peripheral retina, each with its distinct characteristics. The central retina is primarily focused on high-resolution, color vision and is essential for tasks that require detailed vision, such as reading and recognizing faces. This area includes a circular zone approximately 5 to 6 mm in diameter, located at the posterior pole of the eye. A prominent feature here is the macula lutea, commonly known as the yellow spot. This region of the retina has the highest density of cone photoreceptors and is responsible for the sharpest vision. The macula itself is an elliptical area, about 5.5 mm in diameter, comprising several vital components. The fovea centralis, situated at the center of the macula, this area has a diameter of about 1.5 mm. The retinal layers here are thinner, creating a central concave indentation called the foveola. The foveola, this central depression, or the floor of the fovea, measures approximately 0.35 mm in diameter. 
It contains the highest concentration of cone photoreceptors in the retina, playing a crucial role in achieving sharp central vision. The macula region, surrounding the foveola, this broader region includes the foveal avascular zone, free from blood vessels to ensure unobstructed passage of light to the photoreceptors. Additionally, it encompasses the parafoveal and perifoveal areas, which provide a gradual transition from the high-density cone area of the fovea to the more rod-dominated peripheral retina. The peripheral retina, a crucial component for peripheral vision and motion detection, is subdivided into four distinct zones, each with specific characteristics and functions. 1. Near periphery, this zone immediately surrounds the macula, extending outwards for about 1.5 mm. It serves as a transition zone between the central retina and the more distant peripheral areas. 2. Mid periphery, located around the near periphery, this region spans an additional 3 mm. It marks a further transition into the peripheral retina with a gradual shift in the concentration and type of photoreceptors. This area is vital for peripheral vision under lower light conditions. 3. Far periphery, this area stretches outwards from the optic disc, extending approximately 9 to 10 mm on the temporal side and about 16 mm on the nasal side. This extensive part of the peripheral retina is essential for detecting motion and providing a wide field of vision, especially important for spatial orientation and night vision. For aura serrata or extreme periphery, the outermost zone of the retina, the aura serrata is about 2.1 mm wide on the temporal side and 0.8 mm wide on the nasal side. This boundary region is where the retina transitions into the ciliary body. The aura serrata structure is adapted for securing the retina in place, reducing the risk of detachment and maintaining the eye's structural integrity. The retina's arterial blood supply is derived from two primary sources, one, the choriocapillaris, this dense network of capillaries is part of the choroid and is responsible for supplying the outer third of the retina, with a particular focus on the photoreceptor layer. The circulation provided by the choriocapillaris is abundant beneath the macula, catering to the high metabolic demands of the photoreceptors. Notably, the fovea within the macula is an avascular zone and depends exclusively on the diffusion of nutrients from the surrounding choriocapillaris. 2. The central retinal artery, originating from the ophthalmic artery, the central retinal artery is the main vessel that nourishes the inner two-thirds of the retina. It enters the eye alongside the optic nerve and branches out into superior and inferior arcades. These arcades further divide into nasal and temporal branches, ensuring a comprehensive supply to the inner layers of the retina, which include the retinal ganglion cells and the inner nuclear layer. In some individuals, the macula also receives blood supply from the ciliaretinal artery, an ancillary branch of the ciliary circulation. This artery, when present, provides an additional source of blood flow to the macula, further supporting its critical visual functions. The venous drainage of the retina is orchestrated by the central retinal vein and its branches. The retinal veins follow the course of the retinal arteries and are divided into superior and inferior sets with temporal and nasal branches. The retinal veins merge at the optic disc. It is here that the superior and inferior, nasal and temporal branches come together. After converging, the branches enter the optic nerve and shortly fuse to form the central retinal vein. The central retinal vein then typically exits the eye to drain into the superior ophthalmic vein. From there, it can either connect to the cavernous sinus directly or through the superior ophthalmic vein. To summarize, the retina is a thin, transparent membrane meticulously lining the inner surface of the eyeball. Functioning as a critical neurosensory tissue, it is notable for its photoreceptors, rods and cones. These specialized cells are highly responsive to light, enabling the detection of both brightness and color. The retina represents the innermost layer of the eye's three coats, positioned strategically to intercept light passing through the lens. As a light-sensitive membrane, it is instrumental in the transduction process, where light pulses are transformed into neural signals. These signals are then relayed to the brain via the optic nerve, culminating in the complex process of visual perception.